Welcome to Rethink Gaming's Tuesday Night RPGs featuring Waterdeep, Dragon Heist, played through Discord, and Fantasy Grounds. Thanks, as always, to Sirenscape for the amazing atmosphere and music. Make sure you check them out at www.sirenscape.com. You've just got to be using it at your gaming table. If you want to support this content, please consider joining us on Patreon or checking out Rethink Gaming on DM's Guild. Let's begin. When last we played, the party had been meeting the neighbors, um, moving around the area. And we have lighting on this again for some reason. Hold on. All right. There is Troll Skull marked with a T. Then the Tiger's Eye, which is a private investigator, marked with an E. You can't move the icon, stop it. Um, <laughs> Bookworm's Treasure, the bookstore, marked with a B. Uh, Froon's Brews is a brand new pub, just opening. And you may remember, swapping all the way over to the side letter N, the bent nail, um, the proprietor there had run into some trouble with Mr. Froon about trying to get him to do some ungilded repair work. You see, Waterdeep is very serious about only using guild labor where a guild exists and is active. Um, the letter C is, i got to move my icon here, Grillian's Crown, that is Fala the Herbalist's home. Fala puts you in touch with the Emerald Enclave, who has a mission for you to consider and probably do tonight, involving some scarecrows in the farmland outside of Waterdeep. Next up is the Steam and Steel Smithy Workshop. A fire and water gensai pair of men run that establishment. They do have an exquisite blade for sale, but it was priced beyond the party's reach. Most of the game last week was spent getting to know the neighborhood. Um, and then exploring Troll Skull itself. Now, within Troll Skull, there is Leif, the poltergeist, uh, obsessed with a painting of his mother, and very eager to see Troll Skull reopened as a bar. Um, it was Falmer who had sort of brokered that arrangement with Leif without necessarily getting into the details of what that arrangement would be like. Also, in the tower, on apparently a 99-year lease, is an illusionist, um, somewhat scatterbrained and random, likes to sleep in complete darkness and those kinds of things. But uh, he had some background and information on Troll Skull as well, including the fact that the previous owner or one of the previous owners uh, lost the property because she was running it as an orphanage but eating the children. She was a hag. Uh, a monster hag. <laughs> Did I miss anything from last week's recap? I don't think so. Oh, that all sounds right. I think you did great. Yep, it's pretty spot on. <laughs> that was like four minutes, so <laughs> I hope I squeezed it all in. Okay, so... Um, we had just spoken to the Emerald Enclave. They had told us that way out somewhere in the Undercliff, the fields surrounding Waterdeep, I'll share that map real quick, um, is a scarecrow problem. Since very few people of any import have died, the watch has not looked into it but the Enclave is not one to abide by abominations stomping around their fields unchallenged. What, if anything, would you all like to do this evening? I'm just ready to fight some scarecrows. Seems like it could be arranged. Is that what everybody else has in mind as well? Yeah, it's I mean, I'd like to deal with that Sounds and good. get Derek free of debt, and then we can continue on with the house restoration. Yep. Sounds so, good. 
Okay, so you've got a couple options for beginning the exploration. Um, you're on the northern part of the city, in the north of the North Ward. Um, you could head right out the North Gate, or you could swing south and leave the city through the River Gate instead. Both would roughly get you there. Uh, I mean, there are other ways you could get more creative about getting out of the city as well, but... Yeah, you're trying to get up to the farms of the Undercliff. And you don't know much more than that. So which direction would you like to head? Uh, I would like to go north. Yeah, Actually, north go, sounds good. Actually, we go, like, what, like northwest and then up to the north yard. You know. Up the north gate, you mean? Yes. Cool. Okay. So there's heavy activity. <clears throat> Let's assume that you left first thing in the morning. I don't know. Is that right? When did you leave? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> so at this point, it probably actually, if we're going Pretty. off of last sure. week's episode, when Derek and everyone did their thing, it was probably about one or two in the afternoon. So if we left the next day. But... Yeah, but the plan was I was just going to go back and work on the house for the evening while everyone yeah, yeah so it'd be it'd be the next day then for sure okay so as you're going to leave you see a pale uh, spindly haired white guy <clears throat> come walking up to you on a pretty even pace kind of making a beeline right for you as you're leaving troll skull he waves somewhat insistently, trying to flag you down. I guess we have to talk to him. Oh, already? Yeah, I'll see what he wants. I'll talk to the man. He says, Hello, neighbor. Hello. I assume you Do I know moved this? into the Troll Do we know skull. who this is? You haven't met him yet, I don't think. Yes. Yes, we have. Yep, that's us. Right. No, that's really great. Um, I, I'm Emic Froon. I operate the local uh, tavern, the only one on the block, Froon's Brews. You, sh you should have to come by. I'll be sure and give you some free drinks. Check. <laughs> Sign Sounds me Sounds wonderful. Great. Great. Um, so are you planning on... Doing something interesting with the old girl? Uh, currently least, uh, in the restoration process. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, those guilds, huh? Real pain in the butt. If you want me to help, I, I know some people that can get some repairs done on the sly. Good people or shady people? I well, think we already have a man working on it. <laughs> Well, never mind then. If you run into any trouble at all, let me know. I'm, I'm happy to help you. Um, I'm always good for sound neighbors. You know, vacant buildings, they're, they're not good for business at all. I'm going to whisper to Jacob that this guy seems kind of sketchy and we need to keep an eye on him. Yeah. So, hey, um, just just curious, what what are you going to do? Is it going to be like uh, your base of operations for this? Uh, you guys look like a company of adventurers. You're just going to have to wait and find out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I can sure do that. But if I can help you, I'd be happy to. No, thank you. <laughs> we have a master uh, I'd like to ask him when we should um, swing by. Uh, anytime. Anytime. I'm usually around, and I'm happy to open the doors. Just knock. Alrighty, sounds great. And then I'd like to attempt to walk away, like in the direction we were walking, and see if he accepts that. He he's trying to think of another question to ask you, but thinks better of it and lets you go. Onward. Alrighty. I was thinking about doing like a performance and just start like bursting into <laughs> laughter and then like getting you guys to come with me, you know, but. I'm I'm so down. 
It's all good. It's done now. <laughs> That'll be an ex and a great exit. Okay, so you make your way up to the north yard, and the cursory inspection to let people out of the city is normal. But see, there's a pretty decent line of people waiting to get into the high road. Uh, some grumbling. They're apparently doing a little extra searching today, looking for contraband coming into the city. I guess we onward through the TSA, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, since you're not uh, rolling a cart or something, they're not going to look too too strongly at you leaving the city. I mean, they're not awesome. worried about people smuggling things out. Awesome. You got that TSA pre-check. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so another 15, 20 minutes, and you find yourselves near a farm settlement. The Scarecrow Farm Settlement? Unknown. Okay, perception check. Here we come. So, scanning the horizon and looking about... You don't see any signs of undead activity, really, at all. Nor do you see that the people in this particular area are greatly affected by such. I mean, they seem to be going about their normal lives. So nothing's too eerie or they're really just unaffected and just going on. Gotcha. Then onward to the next farm. Could we ask around to see if anybody's heard anything? Oh, I guess, yeah, we can point us in the right direction. Yeah, let's ask some questions. Okay. So, anybody specific, or are you just going to grab the first farmhand from the field? Uh, yeah, I just think, the closest one. I think we start with a farmhand. They tend to gossip quite a bit. Why, uh, while they're talking to people, I'd like to inspect the wildlife and plants nearby. Okay. Uh, you you know. gonna roll for that, or are you just looking? I'll roll for that. I mean, we are looking for evil scarecrows, so maybe it's a f whatever's causing the scarecrows is affecting the creatures and plants. You want nature or investigation or take your pick. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's it's farm grass. It seems healthy. The animals seem to be f uh, faring relatively well also. The ground seems a bit dry this year. Okay. okay. Well, Jacob, let's find us the gossipiest looking farmhand we can find. So there is a young lady threshing. Uh, she's got long brown hair pulled up into a bun on top of her head. She's Perfect. Noticed you, and uh, kind of haphazardly doing her work while keeping an eye. Seems friendly. I uh, would like to subtly wave the hand of her to come over and say, "We have some questions." Who oh, me? We mean no harm. We just have some simple questions, and we'll be on our way. She sets the thresher down and takes a few steps in your direction. I would like to ask you if uh, you've noticed any odds going ons around some of the other farms around you. Oh, no, no. Not so much as a box of toys around here. Is there any other farms that perhaps may have some odds going ons? What do you mean, odds? Well, we have a word of uh, some scarecrows and other things causing some disturbances out here. Mm. Well, there was this one lump of school past the orchard. He had a visit from some dark fellas. Nasty looking sort. Gave me the willies, it did. 
Could you point us in that direction, please? Sure, sure. Follow this road. Take a left. You won't miss it. Much obliged. Anyone else want to ask her some questions? No, you seem to have a covered guy. Mm -hmm. Alright, then onward we shall go. Thank you for your time. True till death. So you proceed down the road. It's warm. It's kind of actually a nice day. Uh, it's hard nice. to imagine that anything would bother these hardworking folk out here. Uh, I'd like to just check around. Um, even though it's like a perfect nice day, I'd like to just roll in nature and make sure that... Or, yeah, I guess in nature, just to make sure that everything is how it should be. And nothing weird's going on. Okay. Uh, you know, like, yeah, I don't know. Like, everything seems to be the way it should, uh, so to speak, with these people and the place and the grass. Of course. And such. That sucks. <laughs> you, everything you're not seems to be in anything place. out of the ordinary, but it seems Looks to fantastic be, to me. This with, grass is not that familiar to you. With the people gotcha. and the place and the grass. Yeah, it's all good, guys. Would also like to do a check on the surroundings. Likewise, it's a beautiful day. The cows are moving, the birds are chirping. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. Got it. I'm beginning to suspect oh. that we should have asked for a bit more information from our uh, contract. Well, we're going past the orchard. Are we at the orchard right now? Yes. So, so left. Keep going. I think before we go, I'd like to um, check to see if I could detect any sort of magical presence around this area. Okay, what ability are you using for that? Um, Arcana. Okay, give it a roll. <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Okay, I would also like to do that check. I am proficient. Uh, not much better. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Dang it, my proficiencies are not helping me. I know they did this already, but I want to compare the wildlife and uh, trees and grass with the ones I inspected earlier. Yeah. Okay. I would like to look at my party, who is just combing through every blade of grass with a magnifying glass. Like, yes. Something tells me that it's not here. Uh, maybe There's no way to be too certain, you know? Go. <laughs> Look, okay, I'm going to question every blade of grass and and I see. Yes. I'd imagine that a scarecrow going on attack would be accompanied with or something, you know. All I heard was with and or something. Yeah, I like how you probably... just peeked super hard there. <laughs> I, probably, I probably peeked out of it. Some yelling and screaming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did that well, I guess with I... Strahd. It made me so sad you guys didn't hear it. So left, we're not on... All right, so nature watchers, uh, do you <laughs> we're just bird watching, okay? That the the grass in this area is far more fall-like than spring. It's quite dry. As Everyone else like has got dying? nice grassy fields, and this one's brown. It's it's getting browner as you go. What, gotcha. What time of year is it? It spring. is spring. He just says, oh, yeah, I thought so. It's uh, it shouldn't be dry and brown in the spring, Mr. Nature Guy. Yeah, hey, maybe we're just having a dry brown spring, you know, Mr. Hey, he did say, or the chick did say, and based off of all of our dirt samples and grass studies, that they needed some rain. Okay, maybe they're just having a bad year. Alrighty, um, I'd like to look around for some scarecrows. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can throw a perception check. See if we're getting close. Shit. I feel like 
Which okay, I will also throw a perception check to see if we're getting close. God dang Fuck. it! Guys, just walk down the road away God. from this place where we are currently at, where we have checked for the past cool. 30 minutes, and it looks yeah, great Everything's here. fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Except for the grass. Maybe the because grass, we're getting closer to where we need to be, right but now. we're not quite there yet. That's why everything looks fine here. Well, I don't know how close we are, Jacob. I just want to be prepared, okay? Well, here's what we're going to do. We know which way we came from and which way we haven't gone. Let's go that way. Anywhere All but right, well, here, which here way is fine. On, then? Left from the orchard. Okay. I don't like how the robot man talks to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to unplug his batteries at night. Just saying. I'm so, pretty sure that dirt is dirt. As the road winds... What do you know? You're a robot. It's less and less used, and the ground is getting more and more bleak looking by the yard. <laughs> hey, I'm about to inspect this dirt again, Jacob. It's getting real sus out here. Well, the dirt, I will give you a bit more sus, but not sus enough for us to have to stop and look at it. I think if we just keep on going this way, we'll find our suspect. We don't right, have to well, stop pushing on then. We just want to mention that we are looking at it. Yeah, exactly. See, this guy gets it. All right, hey, look. You can see yeah. a oh, nice. farmhouse oh, off in the distance. Uh, well, uh... Then to the farmhouse. Um... Do we want to rearrange ourselves, or are we good with this order? Yeah, we should probably establish mm -hmm. the order. Oh, uh, we uh, can't move, so... Well, that's what I was asking. I didn't know if we needed to change. There we go. Pincer formation. That's a Perfect. Yes. Um, let's see. I'd like to be in the back towards Jerbon. Falimer at this time. I was like, yeah, yeah, I will be in the back as well, since I get a little bit of range. I'd like, I'll be in the back. I'd like to be pretty close to the back. Everyone I mean, I'll stay in the in middle. The I was just chill in the middle. Yeah, I'll be right up here with Jake. I got you guys, and let's go. I ain't scared. Um, yeah, I like to I, think I'm, I'm on a nature kidding. walk with Fallon. Don't. But say, I'm not even like, necessarily like, in any order. I'm just kind of like bouncing around looking at, you know, twigs <laughs> They're bird watching. and squirrels and Don't birds. Mind. Don't mind what's about Thanks. to appear. I'm just going to check something. And let's I'm see. sad that the stars aren't out because I really like the stars. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's just slightly depressed that it's not nighttime. Yeah, you know, there's he's one a... really big star out there right now. You like that one? No, it's not good enough. Yeah, <laughs> I like multiple stars. Mm. The the nature around him is just barely enough to keep him going at this point. All right, yeah, exactly. What are you doing? Well, I guess well, we're uh, about to measure down. Press on, press on down the road. I would like to move towards the farmhouse. Yeah. Onward, my good man. Okay. As long as I stay a couple squares behind Jake, I'll put up there. Oh. oh, yeah, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Initiative, please. Stop moving. I love it when yep. sketchy music starts playing. Hmm. Oh, boy! Nice! <laughs> Good job, Jacob. Oh, and Zorlos. Nice. Oh, and Jurban Outfitters. Dang, everyone's rolling good today. <laughs> Not when it comes to checks, though, but they got that good initiative. Apparently, dude. You had oh. to jinx it. Never mind. You had to jinx it. Never mind. You're looking at the flowers, dude. I don't know. Yeah, you're not even paying attention. Just, just continue your nature me. walk. Just continue your nature walk, okay? <laughs> Man, he really is last. Yeah, that's how it was going to be anyway, so. Is it just one, or is there more we just can't see? Oh, okay, there we go. Now oh, they're coming up. Okay. Oh, that, that man is out there. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> 
<coughs> Initiatives all locked in. Cool. I believe so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stelio, in front of you, <coughs> you see a stuffed man moving mm -hmm. in an unnatural way with slender, needle like claws and what appears to be a baby blanket with slits in it for eyes over its head. Jacob, Damn. is that your arrow? That is my arrow. Um, okay, I thought it was mine, because I was drawing one at the same time. I am unsettled, but, uh... Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start sweeping, and I'm gonna pop a Divine Sense here. Okay. So, drop that there. Um, any... Uh, what is it? Oh, until the end of my next turn. Okay, cool. Uh, Celestial Fiend or Undead within 60 feet of me that is not behind total cover. Just the one. It's just the one? Okay. Within 60 feet of you. Yep. Well, that one's not within 60 feet of me. Well, that one. Oh. You can sense that one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's actually 61 feet away from you. Close enough. <laughs> so I would like to move here. How much? How many speed is this? Hold on. Let me check. I can enable the grid if it's easier. That would be amazing. I prefer the grid. That's, but that's 30 the feet. The grid does feet. make it very easy. It's there. It's just currently invisible. Mm -hmm. Grid would be awesome. That's great. Okay. So... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yep, okay. Uh, so now that I've moved, is there. I'll just make this a circle. <clears throat> Can I sense anything new within 60 feet of me? Oh, that's no. Okay. So I'm going to relay that information that. It just appears to be the one near me. And that nice. will be right. Okay. Adam Zor was. He's trying Alrighty. to get him. Yeah, here we go. So, <laughs> I'm going to throw a dart at disadvantage. All right. Excellent. Nice. <laughs> oh, you dropped a 22, Rip. All good. Um, He don't care. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's fine. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I can do this. Give me a second. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm going to pop a key point. Okay. And take the dash action. Okay. As a bonus action. Okay. Get to him and hit him in the head. With my fist, one time. Because I can't bust any more key points or take another bonus action. All right, sure. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 No, I take that back. I can't do that because I can't use it as a bonus action. So I'm just going to do that in the hole and take the dart as a win. Yep, the dart I don't... pierced directly through him and kept going. Oh, cool. And the, that will signify the end of my turn. Urban, you got some moving to do there, brother. Well, that's... I possibly do. Just... I think I'm supposed to be there. I count it again. <laughs> you know how I'm a stickler about them rules. 
<laughs> but I don't mind you keeping me honest either. Well, I mean, I keep myself honest. I figure. Is there? Yeah. Would you say there's probably like a rock or something loose nearby? Of course, several. Okay, Outlines. well. Ooh. Is there a cow pie somewhere in the neighborhood of one to five pounds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure we know. <laughs> okay, uh, I would like to use catapult on one of those. All right. And chuck it at that scarecrow. <laughs> it does not save. How, how could it? It's a big old flaming cow pie. <laughs> nice! What the heck? Heck yeah. Oh, Legending right. and... damage. <laughs> yep. Alright. And that is my turn. I love catapults. <laughs> Mr. Bard. I'm gonna get up right up, right up next to the fence, uh, rest my light crossbow across it. And go ahead and take a pop shot at the uh, the scarecrow. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Nope. All right. Nope. Well, that's, uh, that's your turn. Yep. Just hit that button. Oh. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Well, I know I was like right behind Jacob, so I'm just gonna move slightly here, and then we're gonna go here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. No actions. Um, I'm going to use Hunter's Mark on this idiot. Okay, just kidding. <clears throat> Hunter's Mark on the Scarecrow. Um, wait, how? I'm confused. Okay, and then I'm going to roll and attack. Awesome. And then I'm going to blap them. Okay. Awesome. And then with Hunter's Mark, because I did hit him, I get to roll an additional D6 onto this man. Oh, it won't let me roll. Can I just roll a D6? Yes. I don't think I have a d6 on him. Oh wait, baby? No? Okay, I'm just gonna roll a d6. Nice! Alright. I'll adjust that. Okay. And I'm going to end my turn. Okay, Scarecrow 1 moves towards you. Scarecrow 2. No, there's the other ones. Okay, I knew there was more. I just couldn't see them yet. What gave it away? <laughs> Scarecrow three. Two, three, four, five. Wait for to get you that molly wop. <laughs> Walks uh, into melee range with a molly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scarecrow finna catch his hands. Um, That's a lot of dice. Well, he, uh, I think we've got an effect on him. I guess it just oh, it's my hunter's mark. All right, so let's take the what do we got? Two back off. All right, and then we need a wisdom save. Oh, that was close. Oh, he's still, okay, he's still safe. All right. Frightened by the scarecrow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Um, and then I am going to. Let's see, so if I cast a cantrip, I can cast a spell, a uh, first level spell as my bonus action, right? Yes. 
Okay, so I am going to use Toll the Dead on Scarecrow number three over here. I mean, he's gonna succeed, so nothing happens. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to use Healing Word on Zoralos. Okay. That's this one. <laughs> it was almost the four, too. Wait, why is Horus dead? Is Horus Wait. dead? Oh, I'm dead? Oh, yeah, I because I never got healed dead? from the last fight. Uh, I should have 18 HP from my level. It said, it said you had 18 damage on you. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then that's going to be <laughs> my turn. All right. I'm going to cast one of my two non-spell slot uses of Guiding Bolt. Nice. Okay. Oh. Whoa! That's, That's a lot, lot of damage! Of damage. <laughs> I rolled so low. <laughs> like, yeah, you did. Holy <laughs> guiding bolt! What? Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's four d six and an extra d six every uh, level above that that I cast it. And with circle That's of stars, insane. I can use that as many times as my proficiency bonus without using a spell slot. Don't the doesn't doesn't it also give some sort of effect? Uh, like yeah, I, it uh, it gives it make uh, the next attack done on that creature has advantage. Yeah, I believe. Can you drop oh, the effect on the creature? Less. What was that? Can you drop the effect on the creature? Um, that's what I'm checking. Does it have the effect on the spell? Yes, effect. Thank you. All right, and uh. I think I we're all think level two, all right? Founders. <laughs> yes, founders. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's all Falmer's gonna do. Mm-hmm. Poor Falmer. Cool. I mean, you did um, a lot, but so this is gonna go away at the end of my turn. Um, one, two. Uh, we'll put myself there, and we will swing. At this nice juicy target that's almost dead again. <laughs> He's With gonna advantage. Steal a kill. With advantage. I haven't done this too much. I haven't done too many skill, uh, kill stealing. Oh. Wow. Would you wow. Like 14 or a 14? I think I'll take the 14. <laughs> we should make a house rule. If you roll doubles, you go again. I, I, right? Yeah, that'd be rule. awesome. Like Monopoly. I mean, <laughs> but if you roll it too many times, you go to jail. Right. One time, one time I uh, I was playing a rogue and I had advantage on an attack and I rolled double twenties, so uh, Hutch gave me a god call, and made my sword better. Thanks. All right. Yeah, that was at like level three. <laughs> Where's that dot? There it is. All right. Go away. That's my turn. The kill was not stolen. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna hit him. <laughs> nice. Boom. There it is. Let's go. Wow. Wow, you put it at 1 HP. Look at that. <laughs> Alrighty, and then I would like to spend 35 points on my movement. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And I'd like to... And then I'd like to look at this guy really hard. Okay. He's... That's it. Made of farmer's clothes and has a hobby horse for a head. Ooh. Yeah, Greg, <laughs> where are those six hundred foot uh, elders blasts at, man? I'm I'm not one of those. Ah. Guiding bolt one hundred and twenty. 
There you go. But I do have That's some pretty long range, range. spells. Uh, apparently, right. so does Falamir. Oh, no. Having a guiding bolt, two for use as a guiding bolt at level two, seems a little OP, but you know. More than a good. little bit. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> it's busted. Bro, look at these rolls right now. That's what I'm talking about. Why is Guiding Bolt so good? And, yeah, that's that's um, busted. From now on, I'm making um, characters that only uses Guiding Bolts. Clerics. You making yeah, clerics or druids? Yep. Uh, well, I love. Are I these love considered people. undead? They are. Yeah. I can well, tell you he that. has that now. Okay. <laughs> Druid only gets Guiding Bolt if you take Circle of Put it on yourself. Hey, I would do that. Uh, how do I drag it to him instead? You do I just drag it to him and drag it onto him targeted. like you're dragging a roll. Gotcha. There we go. And then take the other one off of me. Boom, delete. There we go. Wait. Did... I think right. you, I think that should have been on you. But I, because it's grant disadvantage to attack. But whatever the case, we'll, we'll fix it. He's supposed to attack with disadvantage. I believe so. so. Let me double check the wording again. But uh, if you hit an undead target, it also has disadvantage on attack rolls against you until the end of your turn, your next turn. Against you. Okay. Well, let me clear that then, and uh, the attacks you will make sure to do that. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And that is my turn then. Alrighty. Khan is going to run towards this scarecrow. Yeah, please just don't stand right in front of me because I'm going to start slinging arrows. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, vicious mockery, this scarecrow. Okay. Um, uh, saying something along the lines of uh, about those rags, you know. <laughs> it did not save. Its feelings are, in fact, hurt. Yikes. <laughs> Especially with that fat one. Did you uh, drop that on the scarecrow? The damage? Oh, no, he yeah, did you, not. You, yeah, you, you take the damage and uh, drop the damage on the person too, and then it'll it will roll for. You got the same roll. So I tried to help you, but it didn't work. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, nope. That'll be me. Okay. So, um, let me just double check something here. Um, hold on. Two seconds. Because I believe I don't know the range. Aha! Okay, so um, because of Hunter's Mark, that dude died, I can use my bonus action to move it to another target. So it's going on Scarecrow number two. Okay. And I'm going to fling an arrow at him. Oof. Okay. Next. <laughs> All right. Scarecrow one. Going to hustle. One, two. Scarecrow 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and is going to use Terrifying Gaze on hand. Oof. Oof. Good. Let's go. Yeah, because uh, when they do that, it also auto rolls for you. Okay. I'm going to go, let's see. Wish I could have him auto roll my attacks. I'd probably do better. Point 
and five. And I am going to... You know what? Heck it, man. I'm going to match it. I'm going to use a uh, Guiding Bolt on Scarecrow number two. There we go. <laughs> Slap them damage numbers down. That was that was on a one for a scary amount of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah I was a little terrified. That's there a lot of damage. That's, That's a lot, a of, damage. lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. And then uh, the effect. <laughs> and that is my turn. All right, you know. I liked his idea. It was my idea first, but it's still a good idea. So. I just uh, did it better. You, you did, did it, it first, better. I did it better. Whew. Good job, Guiding Bolt. Well, that's true. They Look at that oh. damage! The, the advantage kind of play off of each other, right? Because now it, but the advantage it's only, effect on him again. That's it. Yeah, it's another <laughs> advantage right on him for that, too. Change those a while. Oh, my God. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and walk this way. I want to I want to set under a different tree. Okay. <laughs> He's I, I, just I, continuing like to nature walk. Trees. <laughs> okay. He did his part. He did some damage. He's going back to his nature walk. I'm gonna end up um, right over here behind Zorolos, and my buddy seems uh, like he's seen some better days. So I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> heal him up a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use two points out of my pool for uh, lay on hands. Seems wise. Uh, there's one, and there's two. All right. There you go, guy. You gonna Hooray! stop there and keep moving? Uh, that's, that's my whole movement, and that's my oh. action, so that's me. Alright. One, two, step, as they once said in a song. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to... Clop them. Oh. Uh, wow. Clop them. Cutting it a little close there. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All good. And then I'm going to pop a key point. Um, one of my two key points to do flurry of blows and hit him some more. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all those ones really hurt. Uh, <laughs> and pillowy and soft, but you're doing the best you can. Yeah, well, I rolled ones on every single damage roll. Uh, he also resisted them all. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. you'll have that, I guess. And then uh, pass the turn. I would like to huck another loose one to five pound object at <laughs> that particular scarecrow I'm targeting. Two is the one to the south. Uh, yep, that one. Okay. Nice. Oh, no, he not saved. nice. He saved. Not nice for me. Not um... Nice. Uh... Doo -doo -doo. I believe if it succeeds, I just miss. Because it doesn't specifically state anything for a success, so... Right. Well, that will be me. And... and turn. Old saber suck. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... attempt to finish off cross, uh, Scarecrow number two with my crossbow. Alrighty. That's a hit. And it goes There it down. is. Sweet. And that'll be me. Okay, so... Um... 
can I still use a bonus action to now move, once again move my Hunter's Mark to Scarecrow number one? Yes, you get one every turn. <laughs> awesome, then that's happening. And we're just gonna... Actually, hold on, before I roll that, I'm going to move to just slightly down. And then we're gonna mollywop this man. Bet. And fling an arrow at him. Awesome. And here's my d6 of damage. It is a 3. Because I can't target him with Hunter's Mark, apparently. Okay. Put 3 damage on him. That's my turn. Alright. So we're going to do 2 claws against the monk. Claw 1. Oh. Hits claw 2. Oh no. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Yikes. Zorlos, my man! <laughs> and Zorlos is afraid of Scarecrow's. Sprezik! Okay. Hmm. Um... Let's see, I'm gonna go... 15, 20, 25, and then... Ha -ha. <laughs> Not, uh... It's within 60, so I'm going to use my Toll the Dying on Scarecrow number one. Break. Of course it gets exactly <laughs> what it needed. Um, and then that's gonna be my turn. Okay. Alright, Valmir. Molly Wampa. Oh. Alright. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna use a spell slot this time. My first one. Uh oh. <laughs> And I'm just going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, would you gosh. look at that? Oh my god. <laughs> what this is guided man. Man. So many What times. is it? <laughs> Kaboom! 28 damage. It oh my god. That was and oh. just obliterated. All I just imagine is like a lawn dart. Like the six foot dart just hurling down at this poor scarecrow. <laughs> I like to imagine Falmir's just looking at the trees and grass, and he's kind of, he just kind of looks up and just poof. <laughs> just and goes the right back to, back to the leaves. <laughs> Don't mind that your buddy just got stabbed like three times in a field. <laughs> I can, uh, I I'll can take care bleeding of you. profusely. Come over here. I've got I've got cure wounds now too. You know what? And so does Han. Han has healing spells. You're too far. Oh, yeah. Away. Oh, yeah. You, 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 I got you. some healing. Yeah. I can heal. I got so much up. healing now. Hey. Yeah. Everyone but me can heal somebody. Yeah, we had a healing. we had a severe <laughs> lack of healing in Strahd, so now we've just compensated by that for that by having five characters that can heal. <laughs> well, <laughs> if it hadn't just exploded, it was gonna get real scary because it was gonna be on fire. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bob, I got a quick question for you. Yes, sir. So. D and D Beyond and Fantasy Grounds have two different rules on the uh, guidance and guiding bolt. Okay. Uh, D and D Beyond it says guidance cantrip guiding bolt spell. Um, I can use it as equal to my proficiency bonus in guiding bolt. And D and or in Fantasy Grounds it says I get augury and guiding bolt, and it says it's equal to my. Wisdom modifier, not proficiency. Okay. Uh, right now they're equal. Right now they're both the same, so it doesn't matter. But I, I just wondered your opinion on that. For I would assume the D and D Beyond is correct. Um, what? Okay. What we can? What? What book is your class from? Uh, Cauldron.
So I just wanted to ask that because I also didn't know if I needed to get rid of guidance and get augury instead. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's probably the proficiency bonus. It's okay. probably a rata. But I don't know. Alrighty. Uh, is the combat over? Indeed. It is uh, right, yeah. still around you. Insects and crows are the only sounds. Um, a chill wind appears to be blowing from the direction of the farmhouse to the south. Uh -oh. Boys, I'll meet you there. So you guys know what a deer looks uh, like when you shoot it and it's yeah. still running around and kind of like bobbing and weaving? That's what I'm going to just start doing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> In this general... I would like to go and right here. Into the bodies. Over here. Yeah, there's like 30 people that can heal you, guy. I understand that, but I just got so shot. <laughs> yeah, he's not innately aware of that. He's he's still frightened. I am. I uh, I put in my notes that I'm weary of scarecrows. It's, it's I like can I can heal him for a total of two points. <laughs> I can heal him for potentially up to like. I'm just gonna move. If you here say a crazy number. I can heal him up to twenty, but I'd have to pop both a starry two. form and a spell slot to do it. I have eleven hit points. Yeah, we point. don't we don't need that. Yeah. Right yeah, now. he he's not he's not like Jacob. He's he's not a big boy yet. I'll, uh, I'll yeah. try and heal you. I can I can do eight. Cure wound. Oh, Han hit a so, hit a cure wound. Was that a first level spell? Yeah. You come up here to your first level and manually pop. Yep. Yeah, just like that. And it will clear automatically when Bob does rest. So. All right. So we don't have to take turns. You want to head down to the farmhouse? You can head down to the farmhouse. I want to. Yeah, I'm just chilling here waiting for everybody. On one of these uh, scarecrow bodies. Is anybody else going to try and heal uh, Zorlos before I. I physically don't have a healing spell. Okay, that's that's well, why I'm asking the people who are healing. I'm going to save mine because I only have one heal left and I want to use it for. Uh... Okay. I can, I can I use can, I mean, one. No, I got it. I, got, I, I can. Got it. I can also pop my two points. There you go. <laughs> Uh, Han also has a healing potion that we have available, so yeah, yeah. if we do use uh, our... Uh, that's an emergency. I was just saying, yeah, if we use our healing those. spells, yeah, if we use our healing spells, we can we have that as a backup. I, we're good. I just wanted we're to make sure good. I wasn't going to accidentally heal him on top of somebody else. And no, I'm all good. Count. We're all good. All good. All right. Farmhouse. Onwards to the south. Yeah, I'm going to come down here. Did I get anything off uh, inspecting the body? Um, <clears throat> there is a small humanoid bone inside the body. It appears to be an arm bone. I'm not moving past this. So I'm going to deduce necromancy. All right. Um, what I can do is I could stand like here, I think. I'm going to stand here just in case I need to fling some arrows and not hit anybody. And I'll wait for I'll wait for everybody to catch up. I'm gonna stand under the tree. Look at the tree. <laughs> <laughs> once once everybody gets ready, I'll pop a uh, my second divine sense to see if anything's in. The We're over here just like getting ready, and then he's over here like climbing a tree. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. Of course. All right. I'm just um, pacing back and forth. From here. Anybody with a decently working nose is picking up the scent of death emanating from the house. Oh, awesome. oh, oh yes, um, death. Death. Divine sense also will not lay on hands. Did I do lay on hands? Okay. Divine sense will sense uh, consecrated places as well. Um, desecrated. You're definitely getting a sense of evil. Um, I'm gonna throw a perception yeah. check now. And it's not going to be great. I would like to cast uh, Guidance on myself. And uh, come up to about here after I look at my tree. And uh, look at the house. See if I'm... I, I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking for like any place where I could 
see scarecrows being manufactured, I suppose. I would go for the building that's not a house. I wouldn't want to make a scarecrow in my house. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use my D4 from the guidance cantrip. What are you doing? Oh, percepting? Yeah. So I yeah, got a so like I said, there, there's a powerful odor emanating from the house. Uh, the door to the shed is somewhat ajar. Oh, um, that's a... I don't need that. That's all you can see from here. Okay. Um. So, is it the one on the left that is kind of open? The more of the house, the right one's like a shed. Yeah, the one that these two are standing in front of, Delio and Elmer. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna stand down here for a minute. You guys can fully inspect. Uh, one, two, and kick. Breach. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so in here you see a lot of rotten and tainted grain. Uh, evidence of failed crops. Okay. Got to look around and investigate this room. So from the corner of the room, um, you... Well, no, I take it back. Never mind. No, it's mostly this is a this farmer's supplies, but um, it's clearly been a bad year. Okay. Okay. And is this the door to this one? Yeah, it is. Uh, it is closed. Okay. Uh, I would like to actually stand back, and I'm gonna use my mage hand cantrip to a check and or b open the door if it's not locked slowly. <laughs> The door is not locked, and you can open it with Mage Hand. You are greeted Perfect. with an even stronger version of the smell you noticed before. Can I go ahead and watch from this window over here? Is this a window? Is <laughs> it is a window. It's dark in okay. there, but you can see a figure laying on the floor in front of must, the fireplace. Must suck okay. for people who can't turn off your smell. Can I um, attempt, <laughs> before they go smashing any doors... To stealthily open this window. Not go in it. Just open it. You can. Go ahead. I would love to. I just, I don't know if it gave me advantage or what that was, but. Oh, it gave me disadvantage. Um, <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't know. Are don't you know Are you that. also dead? Oh, I don't think so. Well, are, oh, he still says he's right with that, yeah. with that cause. Oh. Okay, it dropped the eight. Uh, and I have a plus five. So okay, be 13. so we'll give you the 13 for yeah. quietly opening the window. It sticks, uh, I'm just but gonna... you're able to open it some. Gotcha. I'd just like to look I... at Yerbin and uh, look at him. Okay. I guess I'm going to go in. I'm going to see if I can stealth before going. Oh. Oh, okay. Does that count as me going stealth? <laughs> before entering so stealth doesn't make you invisible it just means someone would need to roll a 20 on their perception to see you okay awesome i just wanted to enter quietly just in case there was okay, people yeah. in here yeah 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 i'd like to if they're all entering i'd like to enter okay so falamir you see a body fallen in the floor fallen backward from the fireplace there was apparently some sort of dark altar created in the fireplace it has various writings in a language that horace can read yes um it uh -huh. said body on the ground uh does it look like he's mutilated in any way uh no it looks like um he was drained of all life life essence and he appears to have dropped a thick black leather book to his left Ooh. as he fell. I'm not touching the Necronomicon, so I'm going to step back. I want to look at the book. Is that Horace? Wants to uh, can I do an Arcana? Well, I, you wrote it in Infernal, so I just want to do like an Arcana check on it to see if I can... Uh... 
do some more insight here on the book. Well, your paladin buddy can tell you that it's a desecrated object. It's emanating powerful evil. Do not touch okay, uh, bad things. Okay, yes, gotcha. Also no touch. Arcana. You can also make an arcana check. Uh, well, if he's giving me all the information I need, then I'm going to go check out the fireplace with the writing. Uh, is should, I mean, should I do a check? Is there any more? Is that the literally the only thing written? Ask the question again. I don't understand. Uh, well, so I was gonna just check to see if there's anything else written uh, that I could read on the fireplace. Um, give me a perception check. Okay, perception. Come on, nat twenty. Sixteen. It's pretty good. Okay, so uh, you can read the name of the book. Awesome. Written in Inferno. You may make that an, sounds awesome. You may make an Arcana or History check if you wish to see if you know more about that particular book. Dang it! <laughs> you don't. Um, the ritual was apparently the source of the Scarecrows. It's pretty obvious that some sort gotcha. of Right of sacrifice and exchange was conducted here. I'm gonna so Mr. Mans looking at all this shit, and I'm gonna be like, "Can you read this? This is incomparable to me." Incom yes, I can. I can comprehend. Compre um, so, so the writing uh, translate over to uh, it. Literally, just says writings. And the book is called Night Kiss, Hope of Traitors. I see. Yes. You checking that thing out? Uh, I mean, Jacob said not to touch it. Can I, like, take my bow and, just, like, move it? Sure. <laughs> you got a mage hand. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we do have mage hand camp trips. Yeah. Uh, we can both uh, cast Mage Hand together and pick up the book and flip through some of the pages if you'd like. That is true. I would be careful even reading the contents of this book. I can't read it. Yeah, but I'm also very interested in it. <laughs> I can I can touch it and make it shed light in a 20-foot radius. <laughs> oh. right, I don't know how that helps, book. but... <laughs> I would like you know to what? use my researcher perk. Um, and figure out if I know anything about the book and or know someone who might know about said book. Sure. Once he tells me the name. Would that be history or... Uh, uh, you know, I'll but, let yeah, you use the one insight. you prefer. I guess history makes most sense. I mean, hey, hey. Ooh, okay. Okay, so is Horace going to tell you the name of the book? I thought he did say Yeah, uh, I, Yeah, I <clears> told <throat> him that okay. it uh, translated to writings and the book was Night Kiss, Hope of Traders. Okay, so this is one of the books of darkness um, banned by nearly every major religion on the Sword Coast. Uh, it's well known to have do-it-yourself level instructions for all manner of dark rituals. And it's probably priceless to the right buyer. Boys, I'm sorry, and I know we got a lot of good people in this group, but this book sounded real tasty right now. I <laughs> I want to cake. I want to take it so bad. I'm going to pull out some uh, my bedroll. Okay. And uh, using the bedroll, so I'm not touching the book with my hands. Pick up said book. I'd like to pull out a torch and light it. Oh. No. <laughs> I'm going to. I would like to... No, I will not allow it. Well, I'm going to light the torch. Like, I would also like to not allow that. He's just, he's just um, I would like to take the rope that I have on me and securely tie it around said book uh, in the bedroll. Okay, so even so that way we the know bedroll, it's not going The book is absorbing the energy that it comes into contact with. It is... Ice cold to the touch, even through the bedroll. 
awesome. Can I take my bed roll and wrap around it? Yes. <laughs> I'd like to just look horse, uh, look at him and say, we need to destroy this item. Uh, uh, not yet, because we need, we need, first of all, we need money, okay, to fix our broken house. No amount Second of money of all, is worth like this. keeping this book on the plane. Second of all, yeah, he said good. that this book would be very valuable. Third of yeah. all, I'm a little tricky dude, and uh, I'm interested in the dark arts, so to speak. So you just I said want to know it's more worth a lot of book. money. It's worth a lot of money, and I want to do bad guy things. So Zoro is said not that. cool with what you're saying. <laughs> I never said that. That you're interested in this book in any way. Which I did that darkness me. thing when okay. I was younger. Being interested. I don't recommend it. <laughs> yeah. Heathens, heathens, listen up. Uh, you would be all for this book, Zach. I'll tell I, you now. I, I'm all for this book, but I'm also all for making money. So how about we keep the book for the time being, and then we sell it to a guild who would like it. Off exactly. The I'm trying to do the right thing and turn it in exactly. to we the people who can take care of it. Horace, you're down for uh, translating this book for me later, right? Word for oh, word. Yeah. Everything. Oh, yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I like the. I like the name. <laughs> Quite a bit. All right. So <laughs> who has the book? I have it right uh, now. We're wrapping it up. I mean, yeah, I'm down to carry it. I'm down to carry it so no one else gets hurt. If you don't, I'd like to it. join the committee to <laughs> not have anything to book. do with this book ever again, ever. It sounds super cliche. <laughs> okay. So uh, Stelio, Strazik, and Zoralos would like to burn the book. Would like Listen, to. If, you, if we can study the book and understand what's in it, we will be able to better combat the stuff. That we'll see involving this book. Tell that's it, bullshit and you know it. It's We're fucking with things we don't understand. No, nah, bro, I, I am 100% on, the, on board with Falomer right now. I'm finna I go mean, slap this book down and grab some brews with the old boy. I've got a pretty good understanding of how to deal with that stuff. By destroying it. By destroying yeah. it. And if it becomes a problem, we can destroy it. But I think yeah, I'm it's all already this that. information in this book could be invaluable. I'm going it's to point existence. at the corpse on the floor and the scarecrows outside. Where do yeah. you call it a problem? Because it's already been done. Who are completely inexperienced We've in also that. dealt with the, the scarecrows. Book. And now I'm going to deal with the book that caused the scarecrows and the problem. Just not yet. I'm not saying you can't. Just give us like two days of the book. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> That's a bad idea. I will bean you in the head. Right now. <laughs> Bro, I'm the tallest one here. I'll just I'll just stand up on a chair and hold it out from away from you guys. Once we get the book signed in out the, the bedroll, I'd like to put it back in my backpack. Okay, Felomir has the book in his inventory. Yes. And you may so read I am it. never leaving this man's side. You may read its description. Oh, where's my inventory? Okay, here it is. Uh, aha. Can he share that with me so I can <laughs> also read it? All it says is contains page after page of dark rituals written in Infernal. Priceless to the right I can, <laughs> I can read Infernal, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> This is not what we should. I'm so glad I took that. Or I'm, I'm so glad I took that. Okay, so even though it's not really oh, a, oh, yeah. I, I, a move, I would have definitely rolled an insight on Horace Most sometime in between that. Player. Okay. Just to see if he was <laughs> evil or not. Just to check. Like, hey, I'm not what's evil. this guy re really wanting to do? Um, and I'm assuming I discovered that he wants to make money. Uh, uh, I'm but, just trying to benefit the group here, okay? Zorlos, you've known yes. me a while. No, now. that's not Zorlos. What? You've known me for a while now, right? Yeah. When have I ever turned down the opportunity to gain knowledge of any variety? I'm not saying you have before. I'm saying you should now. I can't do that. You can. The you very much can. The research inside of me needs to know what this book is. And okay. the fact that I'm as, not a demon the, needs to burn the book. As <laughs> like the heathen who has dealt of me, with a lot of darkness before in my life, I would like you guys to profit off of that, but not use it. I'm not let me just it. let me just read this. Just read it. So I have my personality trait specifically says I don't run from evil; evil runs from me. 
I have to stop the spirits that haunt me or die trying. And there's evil inside of me. I can feel it, but it must never be set free. Okay, well, good RP, but <laughs> uh, I this book set your evil free if you delve too deep into it. That's true. That's absolutely I'm not, true. I, that's that's the thing. That. I'm not trying to do. It. I'm not trying to set it free. I'm trying okay. to battle the demons that I've been facing. I just want to know more about this book, and I'm the only one that could read it. And then so you want to sell it to the highest. Early on board. I will make sure Forrest does not succumb to the evil. All I need him to do yeah, is see? read aloud, word for word, everything in this book to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to lay I all the facts about, out on the table. I don't know about here. aloud. While we're here, I want to lay it all out. So, Falimer, you just want to know what's in it, right? Yeah. Stop it. That's evil. It's evil. <laughs> it's an evil book. Okay. Yeah. It has evil Horace, things in it. You just want to make money off this book, which means giving it to someone else, which is also bad. bad. They're going also to very do bad. <laughs> evil. Regardless of I whose mean... hands it goes to, bad. Whoever is going to pay yeah, for it, we can't, to to get it off we can't profit off of it the and then church sneakily will destroy, destroy it. it in the night. Yeah, that's fine, but we still get a bounty. The church is the, going to arrest you for having the book and then destroy it. Yeah, no, that's true. Not no, if no, we no. explain to them. Because, no, listen, okay? Derek got, or Han got sent on a quest to come out here to deal with the scarecrows. Boom, done. We did that. We found the source of the scarecrows. Boom, done. We did that. So if we bring this back, explain, hey, talk to this guy. He'll vouch for us. Why don't just go kill the scarecrows? Okay, boom. Yeah, or he'll do that. Here. Some poor farm, some poor farmer sap is going to take it and have the same problem. Well, we were never exactly. going to leave it here. That was never an option. We're just going to destroy it here. Mm -hmm. Skip the middle. Well, it was of absorbing you energy away. earlier. It was absorbing energy it. earlier. So I'm not sure how you're planning on destroying it. Yeah, I'd like to know. try. We're I... going to get to a temple as soon as possible. Yeah, I agree. I mean, okay, okay, well, on the way, on possible. the way back, we're reading it. You got. Yeah. You've got Horace, two holy men here. Book. Make sure you don't touch okay, it with your bare hands. Just saying. Yeah. I'd like to see it absorb a sword. <laughs> it, I mean, is it a holy it sword? Might. It might be. It could, <laughs> exactly. be, for, it could be for six <laughs> seconds. <laughs> okay, right. I'd like to go for a Hail Mary here. Uh, and just roll the old this button. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. They're not real persuasive there, dog. Let me just say, come on! As, come on! Yeah. Yeah. Do it. As, a, As a fairly I'll neutral roll. party, you're not very persuasive there, bud. Oh, dang. <laughs> More Hell persuasive yeah. than him. That's, That's he's, perception, he's not very perceptive. That was yeah. perception. Yeah. <laughs> I hit the wrong one. Hold on. Elmer has no clue what's going on. Roll even <laughs> lower. That would be great. Oh. No, it is. Yep. Okay. I mean. Nice. I'm going to be watching them like a hawk the entire time, though. You, I, don't I don't care if you it. guys escort me back to town, okay? I'm not going to do anything evil with this book. I'm on the same page as Valmer. I just want to read it. When ha if if I don't think you should even do some that. bad things happen... I'll pop him in the head with a guiding bolt and we'll burn the book right there. Yeah, easy, Ma. I literally am like the weakest one here. One guiding bolt to the dome, I'm out. Doesn't mean we want to just sack you for this book that I don't care about that we can <laughs> yeah, right just, now. Yeah, it's just if you become yeah. a demon, I will huck a cow patty at you and it'll do a <laughs> hey, lot of damage. You know, that, that's fair. I completely agree with that. That's fair. All right. I really hope Horace. I really hope Bob slips Horace a note that says like your your new alignment is uh, like, chaotic evil. Like you've chaotic, you've gone from good evil. to neutral, and then you've gone from neutral to yeah, bad. You're a bad guy now. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's start going back to town. Horace, start reading me word for word. I'll start uh, paraphrasing in my notes so that way we don't have the rituals word for word. Going Perfect. to mess up whatever is left of this evil shrine before we leave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jacob just idea. wiggling his sword in the fire. Get out of here. Oh, it, was, no, it was an actual shrine. <laughs> Fine. Or it's writing and other things. Oh, I'm, I'm with you, bro. We're going to have a nice nature walk reading this book all the way back. Strazik, if you would, please. Yep. Thank you. Okay. So, we mess up the shrine. We start the walk back, reading the book, 
Apparently we're reading the book out loud, which after the first page <laughs> you realize is a bad idea because it starts to try to cast the spells when you read the book out loud. I, well, hold, really. hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They fail. Yeah, I don't, wanna... don't have the components, <laughs> but it's definitely <laughs> tapping dark energy if you're reading it word for word out loud. Right, I would or... like to state, I would like to state, Upon reading it word for word, I don't want to read it in the correct order. <laughs> Perhaps yeah, I, I would like to skip it. around. Yeah, I, I would like to more paraphrase. paraphrase. And then Falmer's <laughs> paraphrasing the paraphrase. Exactly. <laughs> It'll be safe. It's safe. I just wanted as to many iterations as would make it safe. And more. I mean, just, just always know that we can't complete it because we're not going to have the components to do said spell. Doesn't unless matter. unless we accidentally have one of the components for unless you spell. accidentally <laughs> you have a spell that doesn't have components or yeah, like he said you're just here tapping how about, into how about this just to, evil just to bullshit. ease everyone's mind when we get done reading this i will take my holy water flask and just dump it all over this book I don't think a flask of holy water is going to do a whole lot. I think we all have a flask of like. It's probably better than us have flasks of holy water. So. No, I think I sure don't. I do. I'm pretty sure you do too, Greg. I'm pretty sure your background starts with one. Yeah, didn't you? My background's a haunted one, I think. Yeah, that's how I got mine. Yeah. It does mine. That's legit. Yeah. Okay. Also, yeah, that's legitimately how I got. That's the only reason why I have. Jacob would have one too. No, I'll click the other pack. Uh, I figured you would right, on that pack. So I have Alrighty, one. on the way back, I'd like to play um, eerie um, minor chord pan flute music. <laughs> pan flute. <laughs> yeah, Very cool. I would like to be like writing notes after notes of all of the paraphrasing Horace is doing for me. Okay. I also <laughs> don't like any of that. Yeah, I'm not a fan in the slightest. So. Just no. make a note. These these notes, um, I can give you advantage on an Arcana check to identify a dark ritual you encounter in the future. Just make a note. Of oh that. heck yeah, that's awesome. So all right, hold on. Log. Or, sorry, notes. Do I also get that? Yes, assuming that you can so, read his notes. Advantage yes. on. Arcana checks on what to dark identify, ritual to identify a dark ritual. Unfortunately, I don't speak celestial. All right, I do. I'm assuming that's what that is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Awesome, <laughs> it sure yeah, is. All right, Chandler, we're just we're just gonna take a nice little stroll back. Because I can't speak, yeah. it doesn't mean I can't recognize it as a holy man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, as you approach the North Gate, hey. reading from this book, people are starting to give you weird and probably dirty looks. Um, this is awful. It occurs to you that this is almost certainly contraband. <laughs> How would you like to proceed? <laughs> I would like to vehemently suggest that we just destroy the book now. Cause like, All right. Uh, so I would... I'm going to wrap it back up. I'm going to be like, we're just going to be honest with them. Tell them we want to take it to the church to get destroyed. We found it on our quest to destroy the Scarecrows. I could destroy mm -hmm. Honesty yes. is the best policy. Would... Yeah, I would like to That's just not... inform them of the quest we were sent on. Yeah. I could just do it here, though, is the thing. Yeah, just do it right here and right now. Yeah, and we might get money from a bounty if we take it to the church. <laughs> Again, we might get a reward. Possible. Also, not sure that anything we can do can destroy the book. I See, even that's tried. what I'm saying. I haven't even. I'd tried. like to take yeah. it. I'd like to take it to like the the hierarchy guild or whatever the the city watch people are. You know and what would get behind them. this plan? If I could try to destroy the book, but you guys won't let me do that. So, because if I'm you so... do destroy the book successfully, then we're this whole operation has just been blown out of the water. What no, operation? We successfully, we successfully destroyed the scarecrows. The and operation the of the us destroying the book? Great. Yeah, but I don't want that to happen. I do. I'm trying to see if there's a reward, Jacob. Okay. No, the reward, <laughs> jail time. 
because you have a banned book. <laughs> you not, don't know that, though. Not if we're that, honest. Exactly. Not if we're completely See, honest with how we got it. Around. And I'm I, going to be honest that you guys refuse to let me to try to destroy the book. If we're going to go that route, we're going to be honest. And That's I'm going to tell him happen. that it was because I didn't think he could, and I didn't want you to mess something up even worse by trying to destroy it. Yep. Fail. Right there with you. Yep. Sense. Only we don't know. We do. We do not know if this is like a genie situation, and you try to blow up the book, and then out comes a demon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> greater demon right now. Well, actually, one of us does know what this book is for, and it's probably not about that. So, one of us knows that it's for intro level rituals. Yeah, see, how bad can it be if it's just intro levels? That's what I'm saying. It's a little <laughs> terrible. Go for it's for it's one of those for dummies, 101. <laughs> exactly. If that's what it is, we should destroy it, because we'll just get... They'll assume that we had it. That's what I'm, look, I'm just going to... I'm just going to honestly eat the best policy yeah, my way through this to go turn it in. Based on, uh, based on what we... Uh, what we have heard of guards in the past i think more than likely uh they're going to arrest you no matter what if you this have... is also we just had greedy good, and we had, evil good, of... we had a good running in with the guards we have some friends we have backing to prove that we we're taking care of some demonic scarecrows did you say we had yep. a good running in with the guards yeah they found us with like 20 contraband. dead bodies so much contraband so much contraband, and <laughs> contraband. <laughs> Yeah, but and we they let us go. Party and has and been okay, don't have contraband again. And we have yeah, the biggest contraband there is. In. We're telling you we're turning it in. And yeah, if exactly. Right there, if they want to take it right there, okay. This Where's the book now? Is dumb. You are dumb, and you are dumb. I'm going to point at the both of them individually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's almost your turn in line to speak to the guards. Have we decided what we want to do? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest and tell them. Okay. Where's right. the book at right yeah, now? I'm, in their possession. In and I'm going to let them know that they will not let me to attempt to destroy the book if they're going to be honest about the situation. Into a small child. <laughs> <laughs> and then the My small child. child will then allow allow the guard to know that I've been had magic used against me, forcibly. Actually, I'll have to save the zero against that, won't I? If you polymorph me. <laughs> no, he. Han is turning into a small child because he's a changeling. Oh, I thought you said he's going to turn me it, into a small child. It, 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 was, it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, don't change now. But, right. yeah, I'm so, going to walk right up to the park. Large man clad in armor wearing the emblem of the city asks if you have anything to declare. Yeah, uh, we were sent on a adventure to stop some evil scarecrows and we uh, found this book and wanted to bring it back to make sure it got properly destroyed because we know it's uh, one of the bad books. Sent by who? Uh, what was that? Oh, hold on. I have his name. Hold on. Uh, where is Derek? Uh, Fala is the second guy that sent us. Uh, I don't remember the guy's name in the shop that he got the potion from to go tell us to talk to Fala, though. Derek yeah. would maybe know. Because yeah. a quest by a potion it. master to go take care of scarecrows and we want to take a evil book back to them is going to sound great. No, we know the we guys are going to get back to back here to get destroyed it's by the church. Guard. I've got Zoblob Shop, Plune, Rainier, Xanathar. Oh. Erstool wow. Foxen, that's wanted. Roscoe, Nasty Ratman, Skivers, Rat Friend, and Underclip. Those are all the notes Derek had. <laughs> word for word. <laughs> okay, so you're saying that someone, a potion maker sent you on a quest to get this book? No. No, sure. he sent us on, he, okay, here's the story. Han decided he wanted a potion, and we didn't have enough gold to pay for it. So, in return for the said potion, because he gave it to us anyways, he sent us to someone else named Fala, who said that there okay. was some the evil scarecrows terrorizing right arms. hand to stop you from talking and extend his arm in such a way that it reveals a black snake tattoo on the inside of his wrist. Y'all dumb. Is he a Death Eater? Yeah. No, he's part of the... One of the bad <laughs> guilds around here. One of the gangs. He, uh... 
covers the book back up with the blanket and says, I understand completely. I need you to take that to Devil Star Song in the Yawning Portal. Go directly there. All right. Got it. You got it. A okay, mister. Yes, and I'm gonna sir. salute and walk right through the door. <laughs> <laughs> right behind you. Salute and all. Okay. All right. Ushers you on through. However, once we're well past well, <laughs> that man. I'm going to turn to the group once we're out of earshot from this man and say, do we want to take his word on who we're taking it to, or do we take it to No, no absolutely not. Hold on. Okay, then, oh, Mr. Holy People, guide us to the nearest church. Okay, we're in... Wh- where are we at? We're in the... Uh, the Arms north. Just we just walked through the gate. gate. So we're in the field ward. There is the Holy Hands house in the north ward. There's yep. also uh, Ill Matter, uh, the house of Hospice of St. Lospin. We got the, the holy God place character. sounds great. Uh, that has all the deities. So. D- then, d- hey, there we go. Lead the way, Jacob. We're going there. We all got a pamphlet with a list of holy houses in it, just so you know. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Right. I I would like to share a word of wisdom on our way to. I would like to look at. I'm assuming Fallon. I want to look at Fallomer and just remind him that we need to check, and make sure that these people are not aligned with any sort of cult or cult following before we hand the book clan or I agree. Okay. No, these, if we're you going agree. to a church, yeah. they will be of people of the church or are, well, I do we know that for sure? People of the church that are yeah. secretly a cult. I would like to vet them at least a little bit before just going here. It was the same. This. I'm down it for will that. probably vet you for walking into their holy place with an evil book. Well, I, so would, I would I would have hoped so. <laughs> here's what we need to do. We're going to send the holy men in to catch, to go in and fetch the highest ranking priest I and or priest. I'm going to tell you right. And tell them the situation. And vince them. And then bring them out to the book. Because I I, you're right. I don't, I don't want to get smited from walking into a holy place <laughs> with the evil book. All right. So, Where are you yeah, we'll we'll stay outside so, with the book. The North Ward Church. There are two churches in the North Ward, and there are several several in the Sea Ward. Whatever one is closest. I mean, the, the North Ward is definitely closer than the Sea Ward because you just came in through the Field Ward. Oh, looking at the map, they're about like the same. Let's go to the Hand one. I like the. I like, yeah. like some of the Sea Ward bleeds in. Oh, I was thinking of the Dock Ward. You're right. You're right. You're yep. right. So. Hey, you holy people, you just lead us the way. Me and Falimer will stay outside with the book till you, you know, talk shop, and then we'll do whatever they want to say after that. Is anybody affiliated I'm... with a specific temple? Uh, um... I, I'm an acolyte of the temple of Baronar True Silver, the dwarven god of peace. Uh, cool. It'll probably be underneath Holy Hands. Mm hmm. Sort of holy hands we, we, we haven't been in uh and like had enough free time to go meet with uh some of the holy houses because yeah. they kind of spread out. So uh, if we want our deities, we'd probably go to the holy hands. Okay. So you come to a great villa that has been redecorated with artwork by artwork and statues by various non-human races there are a number of halflings working the grounds as you approach There are different um, worship ceremonies going on in the different wings of the manor. So I guess I'm going to be looking for a priest or somebody who would be uh, available for guidance. Somebody who's not, who doesn't look like they're in the middle of a ritual currently. Sure. Are you looking for a dwarven priest or... 
I mean, I mean, that would be better for Justin. That would be yeah. better for Justin. I mean, it it makes no difference, honestly. I feel like at this point, anything would be better. I'm just looking for the first available person. <laughs> I don't okay. trust that you know there is no holy person outside with the evil book right now. Oh wait, I I wanted to stay outside with them. Are you a holy person? I've been against the book the whole time. That's what I'm saying. The two people. W H O L L Y against the book. <laughs> yeah, I've been <laughs> <laughs> completely and utterly hey. against the book. Sounds good to me. All right. Um, trying to find one that doesn't have his own uh, place. I don't. I don't. You know specifically care if they don't have like their own place i just want to make sure they're not in the middle of prayers no i know but they would they would be at their own place if they had their own ah. place right um yeah let's let's go with that first thought so breaking out of morden kindness one that Mordenkind's had a list of four of them days. Yeah, here we go. All right, and so we're looking for a priest of Baronar True Silver. Yep, sounds good. So, yeah, you see a, a dwarf in silver rings and robes. Casually patrolling the grounds. I'll let Justin lead since he's more familiar. Hello. Blessings be on you. We come to you in urgent need of your assistance. <laughs> By my beard. What is it? Well, you see, in our travels, uh, we have found a dark book written in the language of the infernals and we would like to have it destroyed as soon as possible and we believe that you could help us by the mother let me see oh uh, well we don't have it with us right now because we believed that it would be if i ask uh, him if we should bring the book inside yeah, uh, we believe that it would be heresy to bring the book here, so we, our, the rest of our party is guarding it outside. Fear not. The servants make the house holy, not the other way around. Okay, cool. All right, in we go. We'll, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go get them then. Okay. Yep. And so they're here now? Yep, we walked in once you come get us. Do you want to give him the book then? Yeah, yeah. I'll hand I'm it gonna, over. I'm going to yeah, hand it over and give him good warning not to touch it with his bare hands. <laughs> I'm sure he's aware. You've done the we right hope. thing. Right. Aware. This should be destroyed. I can see to it that it is. Good. good. Much appreciated. Thank you. If you ever wish welcome to worship, ensure... you're welcome here anytime. Uh, we wish to ensure uh, it's a destruction. Like, uh, I, I would he wants love to nothing more than to see it with my own eyes. If that is at all possible. Certainly. At dawn in the morning, return. We will cleanse this work forever. Wonderful. See, Jacob, everybody wins. We found out some information. You guys got it destroyed. 
no harm, no foul. We should have destroyed it much sooner. We, yeah, I'd like to... I don't know. I'd like to make sure, like, double check with the, with Stelio and Strazig that this is indeed the move, leaving it here overnight. This should be I, fine here. I feel like it's safest here, probably. Yeah, I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's safer than uh, with us. Oh, for sure. Um, oh, for sure. Um, I'd like to inform the priest that uh, I think the Zinterim uh, wanted us to take it elsewhere, but we took it here. I believe that's the guild name. Why would the Black Snakes know anything about this? Somebody showed them. Well, <clears throat> to be fair, specifically a guard, the guard that was, that was checking for contraband, I informed him about it because I didn't want to do anything illegal, and he. It turns out he was a part of the, the black snakes. So, we were yeah. told to take it, to, the yawning portal. And uh, if it doesn't show up, I'm worried that we'll be in trouble with the interim. Is there any? I'm not worried about us being in trouble with this interim. I'm worried with, about this interim trying to take the book well, from well, here. How would they know you that we took it here? to say that the interim have infiltrated the city guard, I'm going to insist you go speak to Vajra. Point us in the direction. Let's go talk to him. Uh, she is the current Blackstaff. You can find her at the old tower. <laughs> yeah. right. What time of day is it? It's getting into the evening. We we are so uh, greedy, that's, that's not a priest, thing. sir. But is there a a reward for bringing in such a awful item to be destroyed? I would like to look at Falimer and just tell him to shut up. Just say mm -hmm. shut up, and whatever happens, <laughs> happens. Sometimes doing good is its own reward, my child. I understand that, but. I'm as soon broke. as he says but, I'm going to just, like, smack <laughs> him on the back of the head. Shut up. And give him the stink <laughs> eye. I'm not even necessarily talking coin. I would love to have, like, tomes to research and read on my spare time. Come visit the church. Yes, you're, you're welcome to... Come and borrow any tome that we have, and I can also put in word for you that you're to be permitted into the city's libraries. Oh, heck I yeah. appreciate you and all of the work you've done. Now I'm going to walk out. That's all I need. Anything for a fellow lover of the written word. Um, so I take it uh, in the morning we come back here, watch the book be destroyed, and then make our way over to the tower to speak with the lady. Yeah, I'm going to ask for clarification about the old tower because I have no idea what the old tower is. I would. Yeah, same. I was going to ask. Um, the Blackstaff Tower is a fortress and wizard training academy all in one. The That's awesome. Head wizard is always known as the Blackstaff. Has mm -hmm. been for years and years and years. She leads the Grey Hands, which is a private security force directly under her command. Oh, yeah. Um... Heck yeah. Definitely going to go talk to her tomorrow. I actually had a another question for the holy man. Okay. But I have to find it again real quick. Something about... uh, There's... Maybe it's part of Guild and Gobal? Something in the book that uh, Volo gave us. It's a wonderful book. Y'all should read it. Um... <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to advertise the bowl over here. In disgust. Um, I'm going to look at Falimer in disgust. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Connor's just going to shrug his shoulders. <laughs> oh, there was something about. Um, they weren't guardsmen, per se. Uh, it was like a. I can't find it in the book now. Guilds and Gilbaugh. Da, 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 da. Maybe it's under City Watch. Ah, here we go. 
Uh, the Watchful Order of Magists and Protectors. Mm -hmm. Um, they're apparently a uh, a group of wizards, sorcerers, and other arcane spellcasters who will stay in Waterdeep and will register with the city and be encouraged to keep an eye on anybody else who's not registered and able to use such things. I was wondering if I, as a paladin, should register with them or what's going on with that. You certainly should make yourself known to them. You never know when it uh, will please the right party to participate in the many guilds of Waterdeep. Okay. Alrighty, and I guess back home to sleep, and we'll see you first thing bright and early. Unless anyone has any more questions. Oh, I'm good, good now. No? Okay. Um, coincidentally enough, uh, the Blackstaff is the person who heads that, so... Double duty Convenient. tomorrow. Nice. And I guess where we go talk to him and either fill Jacob in while he goes does his thing or he can come with us and then do that after. I'm down to help Jacob with whatever he needs. I would strongly recommend to anybody else who's able to cast magic that they would also do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. Yeah, I'm down to do that after we go talk to the guard I lady. I don't think Han would read the The, the lady we're going to talk to about the uh, Zinterim and the Guard is the same lady for the uh, guild thing. Oh, perfect. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just... Coincidentally, it's the same person. We're going to be talking to her anyways. So. Oh, you cut out for me, so I just thought... I just heard it. I was like in the... I just heard the, the devil thing. I just thought... I didn't know it was the same person. I just thought yeah. it was like over there. Well, nice. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and not register on account of the... Various probably illegal magics that I use. Uh, <laughs> you know, the flinging the cow patties may not settle well with some people. That, that's not really the one I was talking about, but yeah, sure, let's go with that one. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so as you are headed home, uh, you see a winged snake take flight from your second floor balcony fly directly overhead and drop a t uh, tube, a scroll of paper, on the street in front of you as it swoops away. I'm going to pick it up and read it. Who picked it up? Horace? Horace. Alrighty, I'll throw it in your inventory. I was expecting him to ask for a save. <laughs> Right, yeah, that's why I picked it up because I figured I'll just take the I'll just take the heat on this one. It says snake. Uh, snake note. How do I snake read note. it? Uh, you can click on the red. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see. I'm real glad I picked this up. We're just gonna tuck that away for later. So Horace, what was the uh, what was the paper? Oh, you know, nothing too. There was just a warning of the black snakes just trying to shiver me timbers, but nothing to be worried about. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can do this. Shit. Yeah. I'm like, can you, can you're not a liar. Can you you're a truth telling boy. Cow. <laughs> Yikes. What what all of a sudden, you see him shrugs. Eh, good enough. For Actually, me. I couldn't tell. A, yeah, I, I had no idea. <laughs> Could be lying. Or Could be telling you mind if I took a look at the note just to see what it says? No, I'll read it because this is kind of sketchy. Uh, so it does say you want to be part of something big, speak to Dabble Starstrong. At the yawning portal. Seeing as we just went against everything one of their members told us, I have a feeling we should not do that because it'll probably get us killed. Yeah, I'm totally down not. to like infiltrate this though and take it down from the inside. 
Or they take probably... it down from the inside when you can just blast your way out. That's fair. All right. Well, I think we will wrap it up here for this evening. Thanks, everybody, for watching. See you all next week.